Hello, my name is Thomas Marinen, and I'm going to be demoing an application that I built using the Visualization Toolkit. This application uh, visualizes some economic statistics that were provided from the United Nations. Here you see a cube scatter plot uh, with each axis representing one economic statistic uh, from the United Nations. In the uh, upper left, you will notice that there is the ability to modify the X, Y, and Z axes, all independent of one another. Uh, this list contains all of the economic statistics that were provided from the United Nations. Changing that will modify whichever axis you are currently selecting. And down at the bottom, you can modify the time at which this cube is being represented. The UN collected statistics from uh, 2000 all the way through the present, and this visualization incorporates all of those data sets up through December of 2010. So here we are just uh, looping through a good number of them um, and taking a look at how the same plot changes over time. Also, uh, on each axis, you can modify the maximum and the minimum. Uh, this stretches out or shrinks in the cube. Um, so we can better stretch the data to fit the entire cube. Also, you can scale any axis, which will not only scale the data, but also scale the cube, um, again, stretching it or shrinking it. Uh, this is just for visual representation. It gives you a better idea if, if points are clumped together, you can spread them apart. Um, at the bottom, you will see that there is a color scale. Here we have the option to color by continent or to color by value. In color by value, we can color it on another statistic. Um, so if we pick, let's see, uh, natural gas, you will notice that the color has been updated. Anything that is black means that either that country does not have any information for natural gas or that it is less than the minimum or greater than the maximum. Uh, coloring by continent back there again. Um, this filter, right now there is no filter, um, but if we turn on a filter, this will just start removing points from the plot that are not within the minimum and maximum range. Um, so we've just taken out all the countries with less than 26 million population. And then putting those back in and taking the filter back off. Um, let's now put the time all the way back to January of 2000 and animate it. Um, so this works just like a movie. Um, and you can see the points animate. And you can click pause and restart it at any point and this just will loop all the way till the end until you hit pause or until it hits December of 2010. And the visualization stays fully interactive throughout the animation so you can rotate it, change the color, or anything else um, while the animation is still going. Um, there's also a second view, uh, the map view. Uh, this only plots one uh, economic statistic at a time, um, so you notice that the Y and Z axis have now gone to NA, and the X axis has changed to the only value. Um, this is a bar graph, but now they are overlaid on the map, so you can see where in the world each of these uh, country statistics is located. Again, you can color by value or color by continent. And uh, this also animates, um, so all the functions that worked with the cube also work with the map. Um, finally, uh, this color map here, if you double click on anything, you can change the color and it will be modified not only in the color map down below, but also uh, the colors of those bars up above. Clicking and dragging will move a point. Right clicking will remove the point. Um, and then you can reset the camera, which will bring you back to the top. And that also works with the cube. Changing the projection is cha switches between perspective and parallel projection. Um, so here, this helps you better align the axes if you are wanting that with the cube view. And that is all. Thank you very much.